Uh, look who we found here at uh, the Volleyroos training session, an Olympic gold medalist from uh, Sydney 2000, Kerry Potas, of course, best known for her fantastic work on the sand, but she's been taking a very keen interest in the work of the boys on the wood in the past few weeks. We might have, you might have heard her commentating. Kerry, uh, what do you make of these boys? Well, look, I've been following them since I've been commentating their games and it just has reignited my love for the indoor game. That's where I started. I played for 10 years with the national team and absolutely loved it. So I thought um, after I met Roberto Santilli, the new coach, and we had something in common. I played in Italy and we, you know, we talked about that and, and he sort of suggested maybe I come out and hang out with the boys and tell some stories and perhaps pass on you know anything that I can to the guys in terms of number one playing Brazil which we're doing this weekend but also playing back home in Australia with an Australian crowd and just yeah just hang out with them and, and be there as a bit of a uh, bit of somebody else you know somebody else telling them um, not what to do. <laughs> I suppose also talk to them about what they can expect from an Olympic preparation uh, I, I know quite a few of them played in London of course but there are a lot of young blokes on this team. Yeah, look, there's still a long way to go to Rio for these guys. Um, there's still a fair bit of qualification that needs to be done. And, you know, often that becomes very stressful right, right towards the end, depending on, you know, what events they have to, to win matches in. So, you know, it's the mindset that they're building, not just for this weekend, but also from now until Rio, that hopefully, you know, I can pass some, some little um, gems, a bit of advice, things that we did that really helped us develop the, the confidence and... Put into perspective, Kerry, about just how much, how hard it is for a team like Australia to be up there mixing it with the world's best. You know, a lot of these countries, volleyball is in their top two or three sports. Um, they have an enormous supporter base, they have an enormous player base. So how tough is it for Australia to, to get up there in, in that sort of level? Look, playing one of the best countries in the world in your home town is obviously going to be a little bit of an advantage. There will there'll definitely be more Aussies here than there will, will be Brazilians, but there will definitely be a Brazilian contingent who are going to make a lot of noise and they've just been over there so they know what that sounds like. But I think just the expectation, they'll be the underdogs, so the expectation is for them to, to play their best. Um, but the fact that they did actually win one set against these guys in their home country, that's for me, that's got to, to create a lot of belief within them as a team and, and individually the guys that were a part of that. So I think that they can use that and I think they need to use that that set and relive that set in their minds and, and think about what they did and how they felt during that to, to take them through the next few games. And just uh, the bigger picture, you know, with, with Australia trying to match it with countries where volleyball is such a you know people I think don't understand just what is involved and, and how big volleyball is outside of Australia. Yeah it's interesting because in Brazil obviously um, soccer or football um, is the biggest sport but they say volleyball um, is next so you know that that is just testament to how good they are and you know they have thousands and thousands of players to choose from where in Australia we have very few players to choose from um, and so for the Australian boys to be where they are in terms of world rankings they've they've obviously done something really well and the fact that we now allow them to play in other countries you know in the off season so to speak they can earn a little bit of money and they but they also play in the best leagues in the world and I think that's really improved their level of, of competition and play. And Kerry, what's the biggest difference between playing indoor and beach? I mean, a lot of people who aren't familiar would think, oh, you could, if, you put, if you're good at beach, you'd be good at indoor and, and vice versa. But it's totally different muscle use and, and coordination, isn't it? Well, it's definitely the bikini. That's the difference, <laughs> Ross. I thought you probably you know, would have figured that out by now. Um, but look, I think for me, it's, it's the mental side because when you're in a team of six or a team of 12, six on the court, if you're not having a good day, you can get subbed. And you know you can work your way back onto the court or you can play a game and you've got five other guys around you that can kind of carry you. Um, but when you're on the beach, it is either you or your partner. There's no substitutes. You've got to do absolutely everything. You, you've got to go through the ups and the downs. Um, and I just think that it's a lot harder mentally um, to adjust, especially to the losses and, and find ways to win. But um, both games, unbelievable. I love them both. Um, obviously did really, really well in beach volleyball. Um, and I think when I look at a lot of these guys here, you know, they have a career perhaps in beach volleyball after their indoor careers because beach volleyballers tend to mature later in life and um, or mature as players later in, in their careers. So perhaps when the hard floorboards get a bit too much for them, we'll see them out on the sand.
And just finally, what would be your message to people who are thinking about possibly coming along this weekend, Saturday night and Sunday afternoon, of course, at uh, Sydney Olympic Park? Look, I think if they don't come, they're going to miss something that they're never going to see again. You know, it's very, very rare. We don't know if we're ever going to see the Brazil men's national team ever play in this country again. So they've got to come and, and experience it. It'll be like nothing they've ever seen before. And to see our Aussies playing and matching it with them is going to be amazing. And they need your support. Well, we look forward to seeing you there, Kerry. We look forward to hearing you commentate uh, on this weekend's matches. Good luck. Awesome. Thanks, Ross.